If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hello friends, and today I'd like to review and discuss um, a pen that I am very fond of. This is my own opinions. Each of us have their own opinions. So please remember, agree or disagree, that's entirely up to you. But one thing in common that we do have, we're all pen enthusiasts. If we could all finally come together as one and accept others, that may like ballpoints, gel pens, roller balls, mechanical pencils, pencils, crayolas, whatever. Wow, what a world this would be, right? A bunch of pins popping up and down the street. Boink, 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 boink. But anyway, I want to talk to you about a pen. Not just any pen. A very nice, affordable, well-made fountain pen. How do I know? Been using them for years. And if I didn't like the pen, I wouldn't be using them, I guess, right? So, now, let's take a look down here. Now, this pen is a Mike Green custom-made pen. And how can you find Mike? Well, down here, it'll tell you. Mike Pens Fun, okay? And it shows you Mike's name, phone number, email, website, anything that you need to know to get hold of Mr. Mike Green. And don't forget, don't forget to use that secret code Larry, and you're going to get 15% off an already affordable price. So, here we go. So, what I'm going to do today, talk about this pen. And this ink. Yep, Noodler's baby. Yeah, this is the black red, I believe, ink. Uh, yep, uh -huh. and a special thank you for this one to Will Hodges. Thank you, <clears throat> Will. So we're going to rock the house today. We're going to do the pen. We're going to do the ink. Then later on next month, I'm going to be doing more of the pen. And there's a reason for it, but you'll know later. So, now, this pen is made with the Pinsmith Volcano Lake material. So that means Pinsmith Volcano Lake material is what they're calling this material. Which is a very nice looking fountain pen, I do believe. And this pen has a number six box steel rose plated extra broad nib that's tuned yes already comes tuned by Kirk Smears of Pen Realm so the thing is you're not only buy a very well beautiful pen that you can take anywhere and be proud of showing your pen But also, the pen will come tuned to you, the customer, by no other than Mr. Kirk Spears of Pen Realm. Had him on Zoom, uh, I think it was last year sometime, and we all had a really, really good time. Now, uh, the, the pens, they come with a Pelican Standard international converter and including some pelican royal blue and brilliant black cartridges so here it is mike sending you an already affordable pin then you're going to take 15 percent off using the secret code larry peace and love then on top of that mike's going to make sure that your writing experience is a happy one. 
and they will automatically come tuned, no charge to you, by Kirk Spears of the pin realm. Now, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And it gets even better. Just a whole bunch of goodies thrown in. Comes with a converter and two cartridges. So let's say, why two cartridges and a converter? Well, one thing, you're always going to need a converter because you want to use your own bottle ink, maybe. Or you may be a cartridge person. Or you may receive the pen and you don't have any ink. And you really want to get busy and get writing like ASAP. So you stick one of them bad boys in. Bam! Got a cartridge going on. Bam! You get to writing. And you're going to say, a double bam. Because I heard it from Larry. Now, I'm actually seeing this in my hands from Mike Green Custom Pens. It's a win-win. By the way, Mike still turns them one at a time. Mike's never going to change that. How do I know? Well, you got to know Mike first. Oh, you may hear it from people, but Mike's a little bit different. Mike really enjoys what he does. And I'm not knocking anybody else. They do their own thing. That's their business. But in Mike's shoes, totally different breed a pin guy. And I'm sure glad he's sticking to it. So what do you think about this beautiful pen? Nice colors, right? What do you think, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yeah, it, it's a very nice combination. So let's unscrew the cap. Set that right there. Beautiful nib. The heart of the pen, the heart of any fountain pen. And we'll unscrew the barrel. And there's the Pelican converter. Now, this you push in, done. There are some pins that come with converters that I would suggest you always check because they screw in and screw out. I think that's always helpful. So here's what you're getting from Mike Green Custom Pens. Cap, barrel, grip section, the nib, completely tuned by Kirk Spears, a pin realm, a converter, plus you get two ink <coughs> cartridges. Plus you get two ink cartridges. Okay. Now, yeah, it gets maybe a little better because the nib dun, 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 screws out very easily. Now you have five sections. And so what Mike is doing, you see a BB for double broad nib right there. Because on Bach, they don't have broad, medium, or fine, at least not at, that I know of. So this is very helpful. And what's good about it, let's say you might want to change out nibs, and you might want to find nib. Well, all you got to do is order from Mike, or wherever you please, I guess, and he'll send you one, and all you do, like I said, twist the Old one out, twist the new one in, grab that bottle of ink, whatever your favorite ink is. Well, I am, you're off to go to the ink races. There is so many, many beautiful colors of ink out there. So, let me push that right back in. Well, first of all, what I've got to do is get that little dude just like that, then we're going to stick this back in. But anyway, blam, 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 blam. Now, I don't know about you guys, but isn't this a blast? A total blast. It really is. So that's what you're going to get. I think they're like 159. And uh, 
You tell him where you want it delivered, he'll get it to you as long as they're taking, you know, packages to where you live. There are some places that will not accept packages. It just depends. Uh, but, so far, all has been going well. So with that said, now let's introduce bad boy number two, Mr. Noodler. Ink made in the good old USA. And you know what's cool about Nathan at Noodler's Ink? I love the pictures that he puts on here. Check it out. For real. Really, really cool pictures. I don't know, you know, when you get your box of Noodler's inks, you might check out your box and see, well, let's see what the drawing's on here today. So, with that said, we're going to flip this sucker open because I've been dying to open it. And here we go. Bam. One thing about Noodler's Ink, Nathan <laughs> will fill it all the way up. So, be careful when you open the bottle. You're going to get your money's worth, that's for sure. You're going to get some amazing colors. You get some beautiful inks. So, what I'm going to do next, believe it or not, because I don't, but I guess I do. I got my little napkin ready. Here we go. First time ever to ink up my beautiful pen. And we'll get this started here in a few minutes. And, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Down, down we go. That should do it. Drop a few out. By the way, uh, for the record, Bay State Blue is going to pop up. I know it is. Yes, I use it. Mm-hmm. I've used it, God knows, five, six years, seven years. Love it. One of my favorite inks. And uh, uh, Neutral's also makes, you know, the Ahab's really nice pens, I think, in my opinion. All right, get all this cleaned up and get ready to go here. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Let me just get this ready here just to show you a swab of uh, some of this beautiful ink, at least that I think is beautiful, that I really enjoy. And I'm reading it. Prime red, prime black. The only genuine made in the USA. So, there it is. All right, my brothers. So now it's time to get talking about what's happening next. Oh, yes, I remember. Writing sample. Yep. Well, I think I shall get some paper out and get that ready. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. And let me come back over here. Today is the 26th, correct? No. 
Today is the 19th, 19, 19,025 million. All right, here we go. Thursday. So what I want to do for my own memory, because the good old memory is starting to give out on me. I'm just going to write a little bit here. So quick notes. Beautiful writer. All right. Well, I better put the ink down or forget that. And now, did I say black red? Yes, that's what it says, black red. Well, Mr. Announcer, are you getting sick? I'm getting a cold or something. Oh, I wonder why. You don't wear jackets in the morning because you're not going to be outside long. Mm. Well, like, like you would know, you're never up. I know. Oh, he attacked me verbally. Oh, for shame, for shame, for shame. Here you go. So, that's it right there. And I think I'm done with that. We'll get to writing here in a minute. We'll do some fun stuff. Time for the fun stuff. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Let me just come back to all. Here we go. Let me pull out this other journal. This is the Lock B, by the way, that I will be showing a lot of the different journals and planners. Uh, see if any of it catches your eye. So I guess while I'm doing this, December 23, okay, I can just write wherever I feel like it. Some quick notes. Okay. Oh, look, there's Kirk Spears. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll just do it right here. All right. Well, that should have been a P, shouldn't it? Oop. Reverse writing? Writing's getting worse and worse. I know it. Just bear with me. Lays down that ink. Like it. Smooth, wet, beautiful nib. Love it. The ink to die for. Love the color. I mean, it, 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 it makes a statement. It just, it pops. It sings to me. Well, there you have it on this part 
of a review that's going to be coming uh, on another part. I'm thinking probably next week, God willing. So here's the gentleman to get a hold of. The real deal. So before I go, shouldn't I write 15% on? Yeah. Code. Let's see. Okay. That does sound nasty, Jake. Yeah, that's not going to write on that. So I better try something else. What do you think? Ah! Lola! Try that. Are you sending okay? Did I mess it up? Yes uh, or no? Let's see. Well, hold, hold it still. Okay, yeah, we got it. Larry Code, 15% off. Okay. Use that. You're going to get a heck of a deal to win-win. Uh, what does uh, Mike get out of all this? But he gets a big smile on his face because you've taken the time to actually check out his pens. And you know, he's doing all he can to keep the pens affordable because he wants people to have the chance to get a nice, decent pen at a decent price. And that's his objective. Now, there are some people that think, oh, Mike, he's way too low. You need to go higher. You need to do that. Well, Mike does what Mike feels that is right. And he's having a good time. He's putting out some really beautiful fountain pens. So I hope you check out the man. Here he is. What a pen, right? All right, my friends, that's going to do it today. God bless. Take care. And as always, be kind to a stranger. And... Tell somebody hello tomorrow when you see them. How are you? Make their day, somehow. So I'm out of here, my friends. Peace and love to everyone. Bye-bye.